Guys, this is video 2.8. We're going to talk about full electron configurations here today, and then the next couple of videos after this will kind of play off of those. So, for example, we're looking at electrons. So, sodium has how many electrons? If you look it up on your periodic table, which you should have out, um, so if you don't, pause the video and get them out. How many electrons does sodium have? You look it up, it's got 11, right? Super easy. Look at the atomic number, it's the same. Sulfur has 16. Okay, so now we need to place those and kind of write a, we want to find a way to write those electrons to kind of give us an idea as to what the structure of the molecule looks like, or excuse me, of the atom looks like. So the off ball principle tells us that an electron occupies the lowest energy orbital or place um, that can hold it, kind of like the bunk analogy, right? So there is a pattern and a specific order that we use to fill in, and that's what this graphic here is showing you. Um, we always start with 1s, then we go to 2s, 2p, 3d, I'm sorry, 3s, 3p, 4s, then 3d, 4p, and it deals with energy, okay? So again, electrons and atoms are lazy. They want to use the least amount of energy possible, just like if I asked you, would you rather stay in bed and take a nap, or would you rather run a marathon? The overwhelming majority of the entire world would say, stay in bed, okay? Um, so when we take a look at it, as we go up, increasing the energy as we go up this graphic here on the left, all right, we can see that when we get here, we get what's called orbital overlap. Now think about what's happening, right? You've got all these electrons. We can hold 10 electrons in the 3D, and electrons are oppositely charged, so they want to repel each other, so it takes a lot of energy to hold them together. Even though this 4S is a higher energy level, right, because that number 4 means it's in a higher um, ring, so to say, around the nucleus, path, orbit, whatever you want to call it, um, it's still only, there's still only two electrons, which makes it lower in energy than the 3D. All this is to say, hey, there's this order, okay? So we can kind of follow it. The good thing, the good news for us, is that our periodic table, guys, kind of um, is shown and broken up in this same order, all right? Where over here on the left, if we take a look here at, and I only have a couple of highlighters, unfortunately, right here, there's one block that we call, okay? Here would be another block. Oops, let me redo that. All right. And then you would have in the middle, I'm going to outline it in red. Here's another block. And then in green down here, okay? So we kind of have four distinct blocks. This is our S block. S, P, D, and F. Okay, I would encourage you guys to kind of color it as well. And then each row, each period on the periodic table, we just always start up here at the left, and we kind of go like this. Helium is actually over here as part of this block. Okay, um, it's one of the exceptions. And then we just kind of fill it in this way. So we would do something like this, right? Where you go 1s2, and then you get to the end of the row, you got to go back, just like an old typewriter. And you kind of go like this, 2s2, 2p, 3s2, th all the three p's. Then it's, notice how it's four, right? 1, 3, 2, 1, 5, 6, 7, okay? 4s2, then here, this is the 3D, so the D is always one behind everything else, and then over here we get back to the 4P, okay? And that's our pattern that we're gonna follow. So you will see as we go through and do some examples here, guys, it becomes a pattern. If you have questions, ask, okay? Don't hesitate to ask. That's gonna be a big key piece to make sure you're doing. So, let's just jump right up here and start with hydrogen. So if I find hydrogen, on my periodic table, I put a purple dot where hydrogen was, okay? Everything before it is going to be filled. So this one is the first one, so I'm in the first energy level. I'm in the S block, that's the blue one, 
And how many do I have in there? Well, I'm one box in, so that would be 1S1. This is like that manager's code. This is why I encourage you guys, make sure you do that worksheet because it's gonna make things a whole lot easier. So then here, okay, if I go to helium, okay, now it's the second dot. So I'm still in energy level one. I'm in the S block, and now I've got one, two electrons there. You see the pattern that might be, you might start seeing it form. Okay, let's continue on. Lithium. Okay, so now everything before it. I know I, I, it's full right here, but if I were to erase those, and I didn't want to do that, so let's back that up. Okay, um, you know, say that you were just given something that's not in order. Okay, everything before it, though, is assumed to be full if you've gotten up to that element. So we would start at the beginning. So one, okay, these top two are the S, and there's two of them. Then the last dot that I have is in the second energy level. It's still the S block, and I've got one in there. So lithium's configuration would be 1s2, 2s1. Now, let's jump to sulfur, okay? So instead of going in order, so sulfur's right here. So I'm putting dot. Guys, that means everything back before it is filled as well, okay? So I need to start back at the beginning and go up to sulfur. So 1s2, that's these two right there. Then I'm going to go, okay, what are these two? They are 2s2. Then I'm following my arrow, so then I've got these guys. First time we've seen it. So I'm still in that second period, so it's the second energy level. Notice now I'm over there in the P block. Count up how many blocks you have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 2P6. Okay. Continuing along, I haven't gotten to sulfur yet, so now I gotta take into account these ones. So I'm in the third energy level, third period, S block, and there's two, one, two. Continue on, okay, now I'm back, it's still in the third, three, P, and then count over to sulfur. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's a pattern. After you start doing a few, you do several, then you kind of start to get a hang of it. I want you guys to pause the video and try nitrogen and silicon and then come back for the answer. All right, so I'm going to kind of try to clear up, clear this up just a little bit. Try not to erase too much. Okay, so I'm looking for nitrogen. Put a dot where nitrogen is. Everything before it is going to be filled. So here we go. I've got those two. So 1s2. I've got these two filled. 2s2. And then I've got these last three. So that would be 2p3 when we count over. So we should have 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Silicon. Same idea. Find it on the periodic table. Everything before it is full. So start back at the beginning. 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then these last two, 3p2 as well. Now, let's try something a little more challenging, a little bit further down. Let's jump to bo uh, excuse me, bromine. So again, same pattern. Everything is still, the tr is still the same as we've done. So let's start back at the beginning. So I go 1s2, that's the top ones. I got 2s2, 2p6, so now I'm all the way through neon. 3s2, that's this one right here, and then I've got, okay, all the way up to argon, so 3p, and I count all the way across, that's 6, so now I'm down here in the fourth energy level, so it's 4s2, okay, because that's these ones, but now I'm going to change up colors to make it hopefully a little bit easier for you guys to see, now I've got to take care of these guys in here. Okay, and this is where that orbital overlap that we were talking about takes place. When we go to the D, it's one behind whatever the S is. So this is 3D, and we count across, would get us to 10. Then I'm going to go back here to my last ones for bromine, which would give me back to 4P5. Okay, and again, if you look at this order right here, this guy right here is kind of showing us that, all right, with that off-ball principle. So I want you guys to pause the video, try COBOL on your own, and then come back and see the answer. All right, so let me erase a little bit of this, trying to clear out my drawings to make it a little bit easier to see. Get just that green, there we go, and let's try that. So cobalt, right here, okay, so start it out, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 
Now <clears throat> I go 4s2, and then I'm back to the 3d. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 gets me to cobalt. Okay? So there's a lot of practice that you can do with this, guys. It will get shorter, I promise. But until now, I'll see you in the next video.